Long have gamers pondered. Are video games political? Now, you might not know what that means. You might not know what I mean. So, let me explain. For the last few, few years, especially in games like The Last of Us 2, GTA, you know, all these games, uh, Borderlands 3 for another example, they've people have been wondering, have games become political? Now, you might not know what this means. You might not know what it means. That's fine. Well, here's the thing. People have been saying, oh, video games have become too political. But what does this mean? Have video games become political? Or were they the whole time? Are the video games they're saying are political, are they actually political? Am I saying political too much? What is politics? Why do I even exist? Now, we'll be answering the all the questions except for the last two. Well, maybe dipping into the second to last one, but I, I'm i not a philosophist, philosopher. I'm, I'm not answering the meaning of life. So let's talk about are video games political? Have they been political throughout the years? And why are people so mad over a muscular female? First, let's tackle the first question. Have video games become political? In my opinion, they've been political since the start. Remember video games like Metal Gear, Final Fantasy V, a lot of those games that are very story-based and have messages. You know, Metal Gear Solid, uh, a lot of Twisted Metal, a lot of those type games that have like these messages of war is bad. Be nice to the environment, you know. All that kind of thing. And people haven't been criticizing those. Like, when's the last time you heard Metal Gear is too political? I haven't heard it. Funnily enough, though, Snake and Raiden are both white males. Not gay? Straight, cisgender? Huh. Might be an interesting relation. We'll get back to that later. And that's not even including, like, video games that have aged throughout the years, that have aged well, that have been coming out for a while now. Like, Bioshock, uh, Spec Ops The Line, Fallout New Vegas, GTA, like, all of these games. And all of these games are political. Bioshock, for one, is a game saying, Ayn Rand is an idiot. You can't focus on yourself all the time because you need to work together to create a society now i'm not going to dispute if this is correct or not i personally think it is but the point is it has a political message so does fallout new vegas so does smack ops the line gta fallout a ton of games have political messages for another one not tonight and that game's fantastic so, do politics make video games worse? Not office politics like in Konami. I mean, actual politics. And in my opinion, that's not true. I mentioned Bioshock. I mentioned Fallout New Vegas. I mentioned Metal Gear. And those games are great. So, is it really that games are becoming political and that's why they're bad? Well, let's look at games that have been criticized for being political. This is gonna be fun. So, what we're talking about is games like Last of Us 2, Borderlands 3, a lot of those other games that have women as main characters. Those are the ones that are mainly called political. Are they political? I don't think so. Now, you might disagree with me on that point, and you could be right, but I don't think you are. Here's why. So, I personally believe, and I think I think this is true across all things, general diversity in video games is good. I believe this. I might be wrong. This is just through all entertainment, in my opinion. Diversity is good. You have a lot of different characters, which is nice. It's perfect. 
but sometimes it might feel that, oh, it doesn't blend in too well. Okay. That's not the case here. Like, for example, Abby from The Last of Us 2, been highly criticized, said, oh, Neil Druckmann is Anita Sarkeesian. And yes, Anita Sarkeesian is kind of idiotic. Video games appeal to the male fantasy is kind of dumb. It is. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't disagree with that. It's kind of dumb to envision that. It is stupid. But I don't think that's the case here. I think legitimately Abby is just a muscular female. Some people have said, Oh, she's transgender. That's forced diversity. First of all, forced diversity isn't a thing. It's just regular diversity. Deal with it. And second of all, muscular women exist. Cisgender muscular women exist. If that, was the, if that wasn't the case, then there definitely wouldn't be an argument for, Oh, why should I put transgender females in sports competitions? It's really dumb. Okay? Okay, I think we understand. It's stupid. I'm not saying Anita Sarkeesian is right here. I still think the males appeal to... Video games appeal to male fantasy is stupid. I mean, she's kind of correct. It, it appeals more to males than females. But I mean, it's not like... It's not like it's only for guys or something. Because that's dumb. That is stupid. Anyone can play video games. The problem for some people is that it's just a woman in a video game. Now, that might not be the case. You might you might not like you just might not happen to like Borderlands 3, Last of Us 2, and Assassin's Creed Valhalla just because it actually does not have a good story. That might be the case. I don't really think it is though. Like Assassin's Creed Valhalla not having a good story, whatever. Assassin's Creed doesn't really have the best stories, except for, like, the Ezio trilogy, but even then, they're fine. What about Borderlands and Last of Us 2, though? Those have pretty decent stories, in my opinion. I don't think it's really because it actually has bad story. I think it's because you don't like women in video games. Now, once again, I might be wrong here. You might just not like these games because they have bad stories. Okay. And if you say, oh, it's not because it has politics or whatever. That's dumb. It's just the stories aren't very good. Well, all the power to you. That's fine. That's completely fine. When you start saying, oh, it has politics. Oh, it's bad. Well, I just gave you a couple examples of good video games that were political a few minutes ago. Where's that? Another thing I'd like to bring up is, oh, these video games have forced diversity. Forced diversity does not exist. There is something called corporate diversity that I call, where it's just basically like in Rainbow Six Siege, for example, where this guy is gay and they talk for like for 20 minutes in the Ubisoft Direct thing that he's gay. And like they have a full backstory for him being gay. Okay, you can just say he's gay. It's that easy. Just say he's gay. Get it over with. If we keep breaking the glass ceiling, people want, will want to repair the glass ceiling, and then we'll have to keep breaking the glass ceiling, which I think is bad. I think we should just be like, oh, there's a guy in the video game, and he's gay. Okay, cool. It's that easy. I think the main problem I have with it, though, the main problem I have with the argument is that Usually the game isn't even talked about in the actual context, but rather your political views. Think about this, okay? In video games like The Last of Us 2, Borderlands 3, your political ideologies are preventing you from letting you enjoy the game. Now that might seem stupid. That might sound like me virtue signal signaling or whatever. But when you bring that kind of stuff in, you're not enjoying the game purposefully because it has a woman as the main character. When you say, oh, it's because of politics. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting there are people who actually dislike these games. Just not because they don't like women or because, oh, it's politics. But there are people who don't like these games that just don't like these games. 
Like Skill Up, for example, that guy's cool. But it doesn't mean that you can just say, Oh, no, stop politics. No, you don't do that. Another thing I'd like to bring up real quick is that, yeah, like, this whole virtue signaling it thing is a bit of a problem, but so is people just saying, The SJWs are at fault. Bye, bye, Richard. And then just ending the argument there. You've lost the argument when you bring up SJWs because you're just so desperate. You're desperate to be right. You're trying to get, like, some reaction out of some, like, Mad Trumpists are like, ah, straight W, ah, it's stupid. Don't do that. You're arguing in bad faith when you do that, and that shouldn't be the case, at least in my opinion. Oh, I want to say one more thing. All right, politics don't make a game bad. They never have, and not only that, there should be politics in video games. I don't think it, Kirby has to be saying, oh, abortion, now that's a good thing. No, it's just, if a video game has political ideologies, that's fine. Video games, like rest of entertainment, is a metaphor for the human experience. And part of that human experience is politics. It connects with you. It is art. And in that way, we have to be taught lessons. And one of these lessons is like, a lot of political statements are lessons, right? So, I think that politics are fine in video games. If you don't like politics in video games, well, I guess you just don't like art in general then. Huh? I think that's really all I have to say. People who say that, Oh, politics ruined video games. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. It's just something that happened. And really, I kind of wish that these people would just shut up, all right? I'm not saying that you can't be like, oh, no, I don't like political video games. Like, that's fine. You don't like political video games, whatever. But don't say, oh, politics, that has to get out of my video games, because it's, it's art, okay? It's like saying, oh, you can't put politics in a movie you can't say that putting a bunch of criminals in like a death camp is bad escape from new york a lot very good movie you should watch it you can't do that it's life if you can't enjoy these then you need to shape up and get your opinions in check you need to like be prepared to change your mind I think that the, these video games might not be liked by, the, by these kind of people because they just refuse to hear any kind of opinion other than themselves. Now, I'm this way too. I'm kind of stubborn with my opinions, yes, and I do need to work on that, but at least I'm willing to admit it. When you blame politics for a video game being bad or whatever, you're just broken. You, you don't have a point to saying that. You just say, I don't like the message here. Like, I don't like Ayn Rand's an anthem, but it's also just because it's just a thinly, thinly veiled propaganda piece. It's a bad book. Partly because the message is stupid. But that's not the whole reason. It's just also because Ayn Rand is just a terrible author. Funny thing... Anthem and Mein Kampf are both terrible books. They're just so awful. I've seen Crabs to Human Sacrifice and Mo Diary of a Minecraft Zombie. And Twilight. Ugh, Twilight. That's really all I have to say, though. I'm going to be working on a review of IGN just in general and why they suck. And uh, I think that's really all I have to say. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Play me now. Pay me now. Pay me, pay me, pay me, pay me now. But I can't afford it. I can't afford it. I don't want to hear it. Pay me, pay me now. I've got to feed my family. I.